be something green, right? See that rim? I don't know what it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Welcome to Dingham with Deej. Yep, you guessed it. We're back to the home site of tragedy. It's going to be a very muddy hunt today. Um, usually when there's a lot of moisture in the ground, I dig way more iron. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. I'm running my T2. Um, the gr soil mineralized at 73, or it's, the mineralization is 73 when I ground balanced. The sensitivity, I'm only running at 45 because it's already so wet that the conductivity, I don't need any help with that. <laughs> and then my discrimination is 10. Number of tones, 2 plus. So this is what I got. I dug out part of the hole. It's just a mid-tone, but we'll see what it is. Let's see what we got. Something there. Boy, it hits right on it, whatever it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a very old spigot. Look at that. Very nice. Super old spigot. I like that. And a study 77 on the T2. And it's out of the plug. I have no idea. what that is but it looks like it's made of brass whatever it is definitely made of brass it's broke off on this side that side's rounded I have no idea anybody have a clue I don't see any writing on it anywhere but we'll see when I get home treasure troll Thank you for the glove holder. Okay, I'm back away from where the house site was. Probably 100 feet. And I've got a steady 81. No iron around it. And I believe it's out of the hole. Oh, maybe not. There. Woo. You see that? Right there. Is that a button or a shotgun thing? A drawer pull, maybe? Some kind of a knob. Had another banging signal. Jumping from 60s to 70s. Said it was six, eight inches deep. Oh, I see it. You see it? Oh, cool. Oh, I like that one. Different shape buckle. Look, oh, and it still moves. It might just be an iron buckle, but it's round. See that light colored soil at the top of the hill there? That's dried out. Way more than where I'm at. But I'm not finding even iron up there, so. Still plugging away here. Signals are, besides iron, are few and far between. Okay. I got a weird signal. It just, 
just sounded weird. So I have to investigate. That's just my nature. It's probably iron again. Weird. <laughs> the disappearing signal. Okay, maybe it was still in the ground. Still in the ground, something. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I did knock it out. I see something green, right? See that rim? I don't know what it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. It's jewelry. And it's got a stone in it, I think. Okay, let me clean this off. Okay. I brushed it off and I got my quarter hoarder water. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Wipe it on my pants. That's the back side. I don't know if it used to be a locket, maybe? I'm not sure. Do you think maybe it used to be a locket? <laughs> I can't tell if it has anything writing on it or not. Very cool. That was a welcome sight. I've been digging so much iron today because of the mucky soil. I want to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with here. Listen to this. Oh, guess what I just spotted? Right there. Another porcelain button. Woohoo! Surface find. Okay, I got another mid to high tone. I, it's out of the hole somewhere here. What is that? <sighs> very old, very old spoon bowl. I'll take it. Okay, the last hour I'm going to run my. 5 inch double D T2 coil try to get around this iron and I just got a signal it's in 60s bouncing 60s to 70s there's a corn cob in there get out of there what is that is that a key I have no idea what that is but it looks like there might be some writing on it. There is. Something worth. Langworth patent 1863. Can you see that? But I have no idea what it is. Did they have fishing reels back then? I thought they were just made out of wood. That's what it reminds me of. I have no idea what that is. Now this was a very odd find. Because it ends up being part of a tightening mechanism for a hernia truss. And for those of you that don't know what a hernia trust, truss is... It was a, like a belt to press. Usually it was um, like a glass insert. Like it would have been a glass insert right here like and put inside of that piece there to press against the hernia. Now the exact one is not in my book here. But 
what an odd find. Langworthy patent number or patent date 1863. So just a little interesting tidbit of information for you. Got one in a hole here. Oh, I feel something. Oh, it's another round buckle. Woohoo! Normally, I don't dig iron unless it's a banging signal. And I got one here. So let me get you turned around. Something iron. What's that? That's not it. Ooh, I see something. Give me my shovel. This one just sounded different than all the other iron. It wasn't some quick blip like a nail. Whoa. All right. It's an iron. It's part of a sad iron. Woohoo! I haven't found one on this site yet. That'll be cool for the museum. I'm really happy with today's hunt. Um, I didn't find a lot of items, but I found enough to make it worth my while for the museum sake. And I got out in the beautiful sunshine. So remember, sometimes you go out detecting and you don't find anything. Um, I'm happy I found a few items. And I'm sure the museum will be happy too. So get out there and find your treasure. Be patient. Never give up. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, commenting, and sharing. Your support helps my channel grow.